This film I'm going to teach you, it's really easy to do, but because it's got weird numbers in it, it can seem hard. But because of that, it also sounds very interesting. It's not your vanilla kind of drum fill. It sounds like this. So very rock and roll and, uh, like I say, not too hard to do. I'm going to start with the flam on the snare, so both sticks at nearly the same time, just to give it that blah sound. Then we've got two kicks in there. Okay, and that's going to be one, two, three. One, two, three. And then you've got another one, two, three, but the hands, instead of being on the snare, are now on two toms. If you've got more toms, you can just pick any two toms. Okay, at the same time, and then kick, kick. So you've got one, two, three, one, two, three. And then to finish off, you're going to do a group of two, and it's going to be the toms again, followed by another kick. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then you're going to get out into a crash. So the traditional way of counting it, one, E, uh, sorry, one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three. So it lasts for half a bar, but all you can think of it simple. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then coming out. But the ending is the most important thing. Getting out, a lot of people can play that. But getting back into a groove is the trouble because you finish with the toms together, followed by a kick, followed by another kick and a crash or whatever symbol you want to go for. I mean, you've got two kicks in a row there, but one of them is with a cymbal. Okay, and it's that little connective part which stops people from actually using it. So just practicing the end. Toms, kick, kick and a crash. Just practicing those three notes. Then after that crash, you're back into your groove, so. Although what looks really cool is if you go for two symbols, so any two symbols. At the end, of, blah, they back to your groove, screw up your face. Very rock and roll. Yeah. Anyway, once you've got that, do it go a little faster. It's in 16th note. So again, you're grooving here. Dagger, 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 twice as, these are eighth notes. That fills twice the speed. Dagger, 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 dagger. So get that da, 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 get that note rate in your mind thinking okay from here is it da 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 or da 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 or it could be even quicker you've got triplet patterns and stuff to get into understanding note rates how fast you are compared to your groove or to the click that's the core part of drumming so it's really worth getting into your rhythmic awareness as to what's going on so anyway that's that exercise just that i hope it all makes sense for you guys have some fun with it i'll see you soon